Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's Professor Williams again. Um, more of my BA2 Plus uh, calculator videos. Um, this one has to do with discounting on a, um, on a BA2 Plus. So when we deal with the discounting problems, a lot of times we're looking at um, uh, bonds, um, present value of a bond that's going to be discounted. So in this case, what we have is we have um, Wanda who's going to purchase a fabulous new oceanfront beach house for $450,000. And she's going to buy that house as soon as she sells her interest in her gourmet dog biscuit company. Um, but the sale of the business isn't going to take place for nine months, but she wants to live at the beach now. So she goes to the bank and she says, hey guys, will you loan me $450,000 for just nine months until the sale of the business is finalized? And the banker says, okay, but what we're going to do is we're going to discount the funds at 8%. So they're going to discount the funds at 8%, which basically means they're just going to get their interest up front. So instead of them giving her a check for $450,000 at the end of nine months, her paying them back four fifty dollars plus interest, they're simply going to say, we're going to take our interest on the front side, and so they're going to give her a check for $450,000 less that interest. So what we've got to do, again, is calculate these same values, N, I, Y, present value, payment, and a future value in order to um, compute this discounted amount. We're going to be working in our same now most favorite row on the calculator, this time value of money, and we're going to go through the problem and we're going to collect up all of our information. So what we know is I'm actually going to jump and say that I know that the interest rate is 8%. But that's 8% for a whole year, and Wanda isn't going to have the money for the whole year, is she? She's only going to have it 9 out of the 12 months, which is 9 twelfths of a year. And so if I take 9 and I divide it by 12, the last time I looked, my calculator said that that was just 0.7 five or 75 percent of a year. So because I'm dealing in something that's less than a full 12 months, I've got to determine what portion of the year it is if my interest rate is expressed as an annual percentage rate. Um, the other thing I know is that I'm not going to make, she's, well Wanda isn't going to make any payments during these nine months she's just going to wait until she gets her four hundred and fifty thousand dollars from her dog biscuit company so again i have no payments and what i know now is that i'm going to get in the future four hundred and fifty thousand dollars now i'm going to get that money which means that it is a cash inflow which means this is going to be a positive value as opposed to one of my other examples where I bought an expensive car and wrote a check and made my future value negative. So in this case, what I want to know is the present value or how big of a check is the bank going to write Wanda today. So let's see what we've got. All right. So I'm coming over to my calculator, and I'm going to go to second, clear work, second, clear time value of money, and then clear. So I'm going to start with my N, and my N this time is only 0.75, or 75% of a year. My interest rate is 8%, so I'm going to hit IY. I'm solving for present value, so I'm not going to, I'm going to skip that one because that's what I want it to compute for me at the end. Payment, remember I'm not making any monthly payments, 
but what I do know is my future value is going to be $450,000 when Wanda gets her money. And what I want it to compute me, compute for me, is this discounted check that I'm going to get. So I want to compute the present value. What I know is that you know, if they discount that loan to me, in other words, take their interest out over the um, nine months, that they're only going to write me a check for four or Wanda a check for four hundred twenty-four thousand six seven hundred sixty-one dollars and six cents. So what I've done is I have simply taken this four hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and when I say that I have discounted it, right? When I have discounted it, basically what it does is it brings future money back to the present so that's why we had the future value what we computed was the present value hope this helps see you guys around soon bye